वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अगेन द ट्रेवल ऑलिंग सेलर सो टूडे आई एम बैक अगेन विथ अनदर वीडियो सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज द लाइफ ऑन बोर्ड एम आर टैंकर सो इन दिस पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू रिगार्डिंग द डेक द इंजन रूम एंड अदर स्टफ्स सो कीप वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज If you like my channel, subscribe my channel, the Travel Olive Sailor. Give me comments uh, and tell me how to improve these videos. And also give me uh, suggestions, some ideas, like what you want about the uh, next video, like subject of the next video. If you have some uh, specific request, I'll show you uh, the same thing. And do subscribe my channel. So, my friend, let's go, and we'll begin this video with the deck. So guys, we are going out to the aft section of the ship. Let's go. So this is the aft section of the ship, and now here it is 5:30 in the evening, and already sun is down. Evening time, soothing atmosphere. Just look the beauty. Very beautiful place, no pollution at all. This is the Galveston anchorage area, and this much. So many like ships are at anchor right now. Let me zoom it. See, all the ships are waiting for loading cargo. We are also waiting here. Let's go to the aft section of the ship. Ah, this is the extra. Let me show you. This is the propeller of the ship. You can see. There is uh, this is the propeller, extra propeller we have on the ship. So, like, if something happened to propeller, we can just change it. But. We need to go to the dry dock. We cannot uh, lift this heavy propeller. It's a very big size propeller. So let's go to the off side of the ship. The circles you can see. This is called master area, master station. Like if something see, primary master station of the ship. So if some emergency happens, everybody will come here. Everybody has to stand here. All the ranks. Everybody's rank is written here, written here. See, second officer, chief cook, mess man. So everybody will stand here, and uh, everybody will report their presence so that nobody is lost in case of any emergency. So now we are going to the aft part of the ship. Let's go. Mooring area. From where we do the mooring operation. Mooring is like uh, when ships goes to the any port. We have to uh, attach the ship to the port. We have to keep tight so that ship will not move here and there. So, using these ropes and wires, we tie the ship to the jetty. So that operation is called mooring operation. These are the mooring ropes, mooring uh, uh, ropes, and this is called mooring winch. This is the emergency towing arrangement. In case we need to tow any ship. is an emergency so this big uh, wire you can see it will go to the aft section of the ship and we'll give it to the tugboat and he uh, the tugboat will tow us so this is the aft station aft part of the ship just look at the funnel size how big it is so this is the aft part of the ship uh, in the top this is the Uh, live boat and here also we have this master station this is also master station in case of emergency we will stand here for the waiting for the uh, captain's order let's go up i'll show you up live boat area these are called life rafts In case of emergency, we use this also, like a boat. And uh, this is the lifeboat of this ship. We have two lifeboats. 
one in this side and one is in other side so we have to go up to see the live boat boarding area let's go so so from here we board the live boat this is the live boat of the ship and uh, in case of emergency we have only this uh, live boat we'll just lower the live boat and all the crew will go to the shore if something happened to the ship uh, like ship is sinking or something then we'll go to this live boat so live boat and all the safety in charge is third officer so i need to ask third officer to open this live boat and show you so i'll try to talk with third officer and i'll show you inside a live boat let's go so guys now we are going to the engine room of the ship the heart of the engine room let's go and check out what is there inside let's go so this is the engine room of the ship so we are at the engine room of the ship and just below I think you cannot hear because of too much sound. So just beside me, there is a massive engine of the ship, around three-story building size of the engine. So let's go and check out the engine of the ship. Main engine. This is the main engine of the ship. Massive main engine, which is around uh, three-story building size. very massive engine and it's required uh, too much maintenance also and this sound outside is because of the generators the generators we, we have three generators which provide us the power to run the ship and the, uh, all the lighting and everything comes from the generator so this generator uh, runs 24 hours and the sound uh, outside noise is because of these generators so let's check out the uh, engine control room of the ship let's go so this is the engine control room from where uh, this main engine and all the machinery is being controlled by the engineers so you will if you will see many gauges here uh, to check the parameters of the main engine uh, this is the control of the main engine we give the engine command from the bridge and they they have to accept the command from here and they uh, increase the speed or decrease the speed of the uh, engine uh, these are the parameters these are the monitors to check the parameters different kind of parameters uh, this engine control room is little small here because of the size of the ship uh, as i have shown you in the last uh, in my last video the massive engine control room because of the big size of the ship but uh, this is little small but you can see you will the layout is almost same in every ship the engine control room the bridge everything is layout is uh, generally same so this is the uh, engine control room of the ship where engineers control all the machineries and they check the parameters and uh, everything from here let's go uh, outside the engine room it will be a little noisy but so guys uh, let's go outside the engine room it will be a little noisy but uh, i'll show you the steering gear of the ship how the ship uh, alter the course and this thing like in a small boats and all we have to use the oars and paddles to uh, to turn the ship and all but uh, 
for this massive size ship, we cannot turn it without a steering gear motor. So let's go and check out the steering gear room. So uh, subscribe my channel, The Travel Olic Sailor. If you like this video, just uh, uh, click the like button. Uh, if you have some questions, just uh, give me, uh, just write down the questions in the comment, and I'll read and I'll explain everything. And I'll I'll be uh, more than happy to hear your comments in the comment section. So let's go to the steering room. We are entering to the steering gear room of the ship and I'll show you the machineries in the steering gear room which is mainly uh, steering gear motor. So let's go. So guys this is the steering gear room of the ship and just behind me you can see the steering motor. Just look at the size of the steering gear system of the ship. Because of this system the uh, ship able to uh, alter the course. Let's go and check out the detail of this uh, system. Let's go. So this is the steering motor of the ship. Uh, steering gear. We have two steering gear systems, one and two. If one gets failed, then other will take over. And also the number one is the emergency steering gear. So it will run always. If there is a no power also, it will run at that time also the number one steering gear so this is the steering engine of the ship massive steering engine because of this ship able to uh, alter the course and uh, this you can see this telephone booth it is directly connected to the bridge so if, if in case of emergency you cannot give command from the bridge we have to come here in the steering gear room and uh, we have to operate from here so that time uh, uh, this telephone for communication uh, to the bridge. So, guys, this is the steering gear of the ship. So, this is the this is the emergency fire pump. Uh, this pump is for the in case of fire or something, we can run this pump from from the top also. And it is the emergency pump, so it will run where while there is no power also. So it is a very important equipment. So in case of fire, uh, this equipment will, uh, this pump will run and it will uh, give water to the deck to extinguish the fire. So all the all the people, not only officers and engineers, all the crew should be able to know how to operate this uh, fire pump, emergency fire pump. So these are the like buttons to operate this emergency fire pump. So guys. Now I am going to show you the emergency generator of the ship. I know this video is little long and a uh, little technical, but uh, uh, this video is helpful for those who want to join the ship, like engineers, officers, uh, like tech cadets or engineers, uh, those who are in the uh, like college right now. So let's go and check out the emergency generator of uh, the ship. Let's go. So guys, right now. I am, I am in the aft side of the uh, ship and I am going towards the emergency generator of the ship. Now it is night time, uh, morning 5 o'clock. You can see no sunlight, all, uh, all black and uh, very cold here. Temperature is around uh, I think 14-15 degrees. So let's go to the emergency generator room of the ship. So this is the way to the emergency generator room uh, from the aft side. From here we'll go to on the top. And this is the emergency generator room. Emergency generator danger 
high voltage. These all equipments are high voltage equipment. So do not touch any equipment with bare hands and only go to the emergency generator rooms uh, by taking permission of any engineers. Let's go inside. So guys, uh, this is the emergency generator room of the ship. And just behind me, uh, this is emergency generator. Uh, this generator, it's like uh, when there is no power source, like uh, the main generator fails, then it automatically starts. In 40 seconds, it should be start uh, automatically. And you can, uh, like, if, if this battery don't work, and if this, uh, it, uh, this generator doesn't start in 40 minutes, sorry, 40 seconds, 45 seconds, sorry. So we can manually also start this uh, generator from here. So let's check out. Uh, this equipment is the emergency generator of the ship and uh, it's a very important equipment in case of uh, the main generators fails then it will start automatically within 45 seconds it should start within 45 seconds but if uh, because of some reason like battery these are two batteries starter so if uh, because of any uh, reason this doesn't get start in 45 seconds automatically then we can start it manually also so these are the controls to start it manually just you need to press one button and it will start manually also there is a system called spring loading which you can start using this hand you have to <coughs> this handle you have to grab this handle and put it here and rotate it and then you have to just press this uh, this lever then this uh, emergency generator will start and this is the emergency switchboard. After switching this emergency generator, you need to connect the main source of the power to the emergency switchboard. So this is uh, the emergency switchboard, the fuel uh, tank for this emergency generator. So guys, I think you have understood. Uh, I have explained uh, this emergency generator. So if you have any questions regarding this emergency generator, you can uh, give me comments, you can ask questions, I will be more than happy uh, to answer your queries. And uh, please subscribe my channel, The Travel Holic Sailor, and uh, uh, give me comments uh, so that I can improve the videos. And I will make uh, more videos, uh, I have also promised you to show you the live board, uh, inside the live board, how it looks like. So maybe in the next video, I am going to... Uh, show the live port from inside so guys uh, now we are going inside the accommodation and I'll conclude the video so let's go so guys we are now inside the accommodation and I'm going to observe my room doing something morning time little bit hungry I'll make some noodles for you guys uh, I think I have explained uh, everything about the ship uh, about this MR tanker, medium range tanker, product tanker. These are the specialized ships. And if you are coming here, you have to have little knowledge about the uh, pumping system, Framo. You can check out uh, the channel. I have uploaded many uh, like travel blogs there also. So this channel is kind of uh, marine knowledge and travel blog. So do subscribe this channel, Travel Olic Sailor. Give me comments uh, about this video. So guys, now I am signing off from this video, so bye bye, take care and uh, thank you very much for watching this video, okay, bye.